Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, it's time to upgrade my Pagani. I don't mean the car, but there's a smart gas upgrade. Supposedly it's gonna make it smooth shift from the little clinky uh, movement it does. But, uh, so let's get on with it. We're gonna take it, go for a joyride, get an upgrade, and you know, it's that time of the month. I don't mean it that way, but you know, for detailing. And we got Henry. Wait, 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 wait. From South Cal detailing. Hey Henry, can you give me a ride? All right, not now. But you're gonna follow me, and give me a ride back. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do? Gonna move only one car today. Wow, that's gotta be a record. And guess what? Henry's got a special note for the dealers when we take them to service because we don't want it to get all squirrels all over the place right so last time we didn't start have you started since then oh yeah these magnetic connections for the chargers are very finicky you gotta make sure it's securely connected and we didn't have that before so the battery was kind of light <laughs> joyride and that's my detailer see he makes so much money he drives the rolls <laughs> oh my god this is so loud Ooh. let's warm up those tires what's with all the pebbles this car's not wrapped guys this is my favorite detail car in form of art and it has 120 miles on it after seven years seven years well what year is this thing 2016 five years sorry i always mistake this with my p1 which is 2014. Uh. but yeah i'm excited to see how much of an improvement the shifting is going to be after we're done See that kick? Yeah. I'm hoping that kick's gonna be gone. And right now it's in normal mode, correct? Oh yeah, normal mode. Okay, here we go. We're in sport, sport mode. Oh. Ah! Looks like we made it new tires. Yeah, you see that kick? Yeah. Are you still the original tire? My God. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, with 120 miles. You see that kick? Yeah. Wow. This thing has so much power. For 700 some horsepower, it sure feels a lot more. Maybe it's all the noise. Alright, let's move on the tires. This thing only goes up the whole way. Yeah, def definitely has a kick. And with the tires being six years old, you're not getting enough traction for a real wheel drive, has a lot of torque. So, uh, Cars and Copters coming up. Any oh, yeah. Plans? Planning and going? Oh, yeah. I ain't gonna tell you what I'm gonna take. It's a surprise. Wow. Yeah. I gotta get rid of this kick. Oh, my Sounds like a jet. You know, this is probably the second loudest car I have after my Bugatti. Ooh. Wow, maybe it is the loudest. Definitely the loudest wow. sounding turbos, for sure. Yeah. What I love about the Pagani is all the detailed buttons. Even on here, you can choose your air conditioning, but what is green, the air conditioning? Green light, green. All right, oh, green light, oh, there we go. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Woo! Man, 
the kicks kind of make you feel like an Aventador, you know? With the it six, is. With the single clutch. It sure does, yeah. The kicks definitely make you feel like an Aventador. Whoa. Ooh. All right. Well, this was relatively a short joyride. But let me see, where is my left? I pushed the signal button by mistake. Left is over here. Another thing I love about the Pagani is a single button to push for your left system and never fails. Here we go at the Pagani service. All right. Well, I got all kinds of warning lights here. I got flat tire and something about seat belt. Well, seems like we're in the right place, huh? Hey, Mike, how are you? How's it going? Good. Well, I'm so excited to get an upgrade on my smart oh, yeah, gas. Totally. <laughs> you win. Good. <laughs> totally. So it's going to take like a couple of days? Yeah, it's going to take probably. I should be, yeah. be on the floor by tomorrow. After yeah. Me. Yeah, check. Yeah. I don't know um, if it needs oil change. It only has 120 miles on it. Okay. But, I'll smell but, the oil. But, yeah, Usually, yeah. the only thing that happens is it gets you know, fuel saturated, too many cold starts. Okay, yeah, okay. find out. Okay. All right, thank you, man. I'm excited. And what else do you like? Holy moly. Uh, I just noticed Salt are telling me to get it all ready, track ready, but there's no parts available to do that. What? Yeah, so it's gotta wait. Oh my god, this thing is like a goddamn spaceship. Wow. Obviously, you don't want to get caught driving this on this street. They'll impound it right away. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't even get it, you can't even get it out the driveway. You're kidding? No, because uh, they tried to drop it with the big truck out, out yeah. the front, and I couldn't yeah. push it up the curb. I had to bring another tow truck. Put You're on a tow kidding? Truck. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it didn't work. Look how uh, long the front is. There's no lift or anything. Wow. Yeah. That is really cool. All right, I'll get out of your All right, here. cool. I know you have a lot to do. Yeah. All right, take care of my baby. You know what? The car will look so weird in here. Maybe it's the light. Look at the car I've never seen it. That's much of a contrast, right? Yeah, that's good. Oh man, this is so much smoother. You know, I love supercars, but sometimes... Luxury. Luxury is a different pleasure. 13-year-old car rides like a new one. This still your favorite, Manny? Mm, yeah, well, I have the other one. I bought 2016 Drophead. I like that better because it's got white interior. This one, you know, it's good once in a while when I go back in time. <laughs> it's classic, you know. The other one is like uh, more of a updated Miami Vice style. That cream color white inside. Yeah. What would you say is the most difficult car to uh, to wash, Henry, or to detail? Uh, the Pagani. Why is that? Um, because it's very intricate. Mm. All the curves. Yeah, it shows. All, yeah. It shows every little imperfection, huh? Yes. So the Pagani is definitely, and then the P1 exposed carbon. <laughs> hmm. Oh, so this is the new building, man? Yes, my new garage. I'm having a lot of challenges with design. My new man cave. Ceiling grid is going to be duplicate of what's here. Uh, very futuristic, sci-fi, as you guys know. But I'm thinking, can I even upgrade this design to something more futuristic? Kind of like what you guys saw in Batman. It was all LED ceiling panels. Anyhow, give me your thoughts. Comment down below. Let me know what do you think I should do with the ceiling grid. The wall's going to be all drywall, white, white marble flooring. I just don't know how to upgrade my futuristic ceiling grid. So let me know down below in the comments. Thanks again, see you guys next week. So I sold this for 40.7 million uh, two years ago. So I made about close to $12 million. Residential investors work longer hours for lower returns compared to commercial real estate investors. 
Contrarian Academy helps residential investors successfully acquire their first commercial property in six months or less. So there's a lot of pockets of opportunity where you can take great real estate that's located in a great location and repurpose it. While one state, for example, Houston, that's heavily invested in oil and gas industry is experiencing a recession, you may have another state like California experiencing the economic boom. You don't really have to wait for a global economic recession to jump out and invest your money and buy real estate. Apply now by clicking the link below.